do it. We want the national government to, to, to assist. They are given 15%. We are looking for the 85% of the national uh, budget. Where is it? So we also don't want to, lump, to blush or blast the county governments who have only 15%. Where is the 85% that is supposed to also help the people of Northeastern and Northern Kenya? We are actually angry. We are devastated. And uh, we are not going to clap anymore. Mr. Deputy President, you have been given the mandate and task to coordinate, go and visit Garissa, Wajia, Mandera, Turkana, other places, and Antana River, and see what is happening on the ground. We commend the efforts of uh, Kenya Red Cross and also Kenya Defense Forces because they have also deployed some of their aircrafts. But it's not enough. Kenya Power. There is power blackout in Mandera. They can't even uh, uh, drop fuel to their power stations. Others are going to be in blackout very soon because there's no, there's no fuel because we depend on the generators. If Northeastern was at power with all other parts of Kenya, we don't have this problem. El Nino will have come, no problem. Trucks will have gone. Aircraft will have landed in airstrips, no problem. But there's no infrastructure. It is zero, nil. And our hope is that before the end of this term of this government, of His Excellency the President Ruto, at least we hope that the road from Garissa will reach all the way to Mandera. Our greatest problem is infrastructure. And it's been a lip service, uh, governments after governments, that is going to be done. Nothing has been done. So that is it, and I think uh, you have heard the message. We will give it to my other colleagues. Power stations have, have shut down because there's no fuel, not just in Mandera, all of them. And it's as if nothing has happened in our country here. Two million, the lives of over two million people are at risk. In the biggest or the worst, what do you call, uh, El Nino that we have seen, at least in my, in my, in my, in my, in all that I can recollect myself and remember. And I'm not a young man. And our government is mom. It's just sitting there. Whenever the disasters of this nature, anywhere in the world, including the most developed countries, the economy of, of Florida as a state in the US is more than 10 times the economy of Kenya. And whenever there's a, things like that, floods, hurricanes, typhoons, the Federal Emergency Management Agency of the U.S. steps in. President of this, from Washington, D.C. goes there to see how it's going. Coordination. The biggest economies in the world, when they have an earthquake, the whole world, they, they make an appeal to the whole world. We haven't made an appeal right now to the globe. This disaster is of, of a magnitude that even Kenya government cannot copy it on its own without the support of the international community. Why? Are people not talking about it? Why is this government sitting on it? Very, very happy. So we're calling on the government as a matter of emergency, an agency, to immediately declare the national disaster in here and ask, make an appeal, a flash appeal to the international community. They need air droppings. Food has got to be dropped from there. Massive helicopters which can transport 10 tons, more than 10 tons, must be deployed. Two million people who do not have their livelihood is not a small number. I know we have a problem, we'll have a problem dealing with it alone as a country, but I think with the international community coming on board, we shall be in a position to save lives and try and mitigate the effects of this disaster right now. So ours is just to say, where is the government? Where is the Kenya government? Where is it missing in? It's missing, it's missing out. When its own people, its own citizens, who have been marginalized institutionally, institutional government guided marginalization for 70 years or 60 years since independence. When we don't even have more than 100 miles of tarmac in the whole of that region. 
and everywhere else, tamak goes all the way to the farms of people <coughs> and homes of people. And again, this happens in the very least in the past. This appeal used to be done, and the international community used to come in and try and support us. And the people, you know, you, you save lives. So ours right now is to say, move with the speed. Move, Mr. President. Mr. President Ruto, move with the speed. This is the biggest litmus test for your own administration. And rein in your deputy president. Let him understand he's there. A heartbeat away from the presidency of this country. God, for, God forbid, but if anywhere, anything were to happen to President Ruto, he steps in there. But the way he's talking right now is not befitting of a person of that kind of a leadership. So we want to see results. <coughs> and when we talk like that tough, it's because of the pains that are there. Thank you. Thank <laughs> Hildevanada, Nordistan, Ela, Kova, Tana River, Aya Halka Kukul men, Anego Kahale Haino, Devata Hada Wadanga Kasuato, Tas or Ah, Bia Behenka, Ama Elino, Rob Kapate, overdoing Goen, Marco Rodama Haisanin, Hasi Hate, Wai Goen, Tirena, Marca Sada Hada Mole Hesin, Devata Wu, Win, Hawa, Wahwa Dalada, Hamichiran, Halkas. Diaru ini kemarin kita dengan Goromo di diaru dengan Noah Khalas lama hayo, wah kerajaan, hatta international airport ke wajar, dan kemarin hadi biar bersemen, wah sekarang debat kala, lip kemarin hadi kejiru hawaian, untuk lama hayo, dah istilah orang ke dah lama hayo, wah khatar ah, in Ezra Badan. هذا دلعان وابي بلاودن وايد دلعان كورونا كمدة يو وحيالة كلا حتى حولها وعذر كيس الجيل دي غاضي وحرق لوجيدة ستة عشر كيلومتر ميل حولا كور لوجيدة عذر كيس مركا مدة عن شجع إنه هذا ولا ليك عن شجع وحويان دولتي أو مسؤول كسرنا أودت كذا مسؤول كسرنا ماذا لما هيو وعي أنت لما هيو وعي وأنا أقول لك أن أنا 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 أقول أن أنا أقول لك أن أنا أقول لك أن أنا أقول لك أن أنا أقول لك أن وحنا ندون هنا صدق دقة أرين تان إن لو ده واقع إن أي تهاي أرين خطر أ ديسستا إن لو ده واقع سأدوينه هذا أي نوع مغلان أي نوع سو قرمذان معي لي سد هذا أي كوس عطو ابن آدم كي بدنا نيا أنت لا ما هيو حوله إيه رأى باري كسوهرين، لأن خاصهان جيلا كل واحد يخوض سيد الجواري دوسا نو تكتاجين يعني أنت معوني هايو ما دام أديب كان أوجرو دولا دلها هينن دولا دو حن لنا هاي ووارن عن بحنا هنا وحن بحنا هنا وارن وحن لنا هاي تن واتي ود بيسي عن دولا دا نكون فيرن هنا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بورا كونستنسي إن تنا ريفا كاونتي I will be very brief since I totally associate myself with the comments of my brothers who have spoken before me and leaders from Northern Kenya. But I want to briefly add uh, to paint picture in Tana River County. The uh, situation is very dire. In Tana River County, it is a gateway to the whole of Northern Kenya. There is two major roads connecting from Mombasa to Garissa, to the rest of Northern Kenya, and one heading from Nairobi to Garissa. As we speak today, there is a bridge in areas in Tula between Garissa and Bangal. Between Garissa and Bangal. That is, a that is a bridge and a road that was connecting the northern Kenya to the rest of the republic. Today, it is impossible. 
and uh, I don't know. For Mandera, Wajia, they have been in this situation for the longest time. Now, 14, 15 days, have more than more than more than two weeks, three weeks. But for us, that road has been the only solace, the only hope to Garissa and 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 and, and, and its neighboring uh, areas. Again. There is a junction, there is a bridge in a place called Dukanotu near Charidende within my constituency. A section of a road that leads, that connects Mombasa to, to, to Garissa, which is now also impassable, completely washed off. And it is at this juncture that I want to caution Kenha, because there are acts of God that cannot be foreseen. And there are things that can be foreseen, planned, and properly uh, mitigated. We have been to the offices as Tana River leaders complaining of situations of those bridges. Now, the, 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 the contractor has just left work, uh, from the site, I think a year ago. But now, there is no even a single, uh, 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 any, any proof to show that any works were done there. I want to put them on notice because I completely associate these kind of uh, disasters to poor workmanship from contractors who always do work on that section. So I want to appeal and appeal to the national government and the county government, specifically Tana River County Governor, is not doing the much he was supposed to do. Tana River County Governor is not doing the much that he was supposed to do. He is a county governor for all the residents of Tana River, Tana River uh, people. But he's not doing that. We want to appeal to...